Hi, I'm Bill, and this is really a specialty video. It's essentially an ad for myself, and it's geared towards people that are living in Northern California, let's say the greater San Francisco Bay Area, which includes San Jose and North Bay, East Bay, the peninsula, and even maybe as far as Sacramento, or maybe you don't live in those areas, but you know someone within those areas that is looking to um, purchase what might be called a starter scope, a refractor. I'm selling my William Optics Xenostar Z61 Mod 2. I'm selling it as a package. There are several accessories that I'm including. I don't want to split it apart. And we'll cut to the chase. I'm asking $699 via PayPal local pickup, or I meet you in the areas that I defined uh, to do the handoff. So let's walk through what we have here. Again, the Xenostar uh, by William Optics. It's a fine quality scope. It is a 61 millimeter, and that's why it's the Z61. The focal length is 360 millimeters. The focal, um, the aperture, let's say, is f5.9. It can handle APS-C and full-frame uh, cameras. The image circle is full-frame per William Optics. I was using it with, some, uh, with an APS-C and a, uh, a one-inch square sensor, the 533 MC Pro. I will include some images that I, uh, where I use this scope to capture the data. Again, I'm, I'm still learning PixInsight, so some of what you see may be uh, an issue with me uh, not having the right level of skill yet to do processing, but I'll include a few uh, pictures. Now, um, let's talk what's included. So you have the, the base uh, telescope, you have the CAT handlebar. Uh, this will accommodate, uh, I was running a Uniguide 32 guide scope with an ASI uh, 120 mm mini camera. I'm keeping those items so I'm not selling it as part of this bundle. You'll notice here that there is a ZWO EAF and uh, electronic autofocuser and with that comes a temperature probe uh, which would plug into this EAF and then you can set up your uh, night of autofocusing based upon temperature changes based upon what software you may be using to guide your, uh, your night of imaging. Uh, this is a, a longer Vixen style um, plate that came with it. Here's the original dovetail. Uh, I moved to this different dovetail to give myself a little bit more room, but I'm including both dovetails in this package. With it comes the William Optics Flat 61A. So this is a field flattener. Uh, this is to help you make sure that your images are flat, um, no curvature in the corners. And the great thing about it is it's adjustable. And when it comes to dialing in your back focus, that's very helpful. Now, I am not including any additional spacers other than um, you know the adjustability of the field flattener. So you would have to get the uh, appropriate uh, spacers uh, to get the uh, back focus that you need. William Optics has a great diagram, shows you what the uh, back focus distance needs to be. Um, I was running a filter wheel on it along with a dedicated astro camera. At one time I was using this with my Canon 6D, so I'm including a uh, T-mount. Um, and this is from William Optics, and it's made for uh, the Canon uh, EOS uh, cameras. Uh, the other thing, as you probably know, William Optics is known for, I think they even call it patented. Um, a Botanoff mask. Now this came in handy when I first purchased the scope to allow me to do manual uh, focusing, uh, but really once the uh, electronic focuser 
as was installed, I just used that. And it really made uh, my night a lot easier having an electronic autofocuser. So I didn't worry, have to worry about temperature changes. Um, so it would uh, autofocus based upon parameters uh, that I put into the uh, software. Um, so very nice, uh, nice to have. So as you see here, here's the uh, dew, dew shield. It, it will collapse. I am not including the soft case that the original uh, Z61 came in, and the reason I'm not is because I can't find it. I'm sure it's around the house somewhere. And I'm not including the inspection report nor the warranty card uh, because I believe it's in that case, wherever that case may be. This is, uh, I purchased this in uh, December, January of 2021, so it's about two years old. Uh, I've taken good care of it. Uh, it's in good condition and uh, just quickly on the specs again it is a doublet its uh, focal length is 360 the diameter is 61 millimeter aperture f 5.9 again camera format APS-C or full frame again I was using the 294 as well as the 533 works great with this uh, scope as far as the image circle and um, that's about the main things. Um, $699 payment via PayPal. Local pickup in the San Mateo, greater San Francisco Bay Area. If someone is in the Sacramento area, I would be willing to drive halfway and meet you uh, to do the exchange. Um, so that's kind of the, that's about it. So again, thank you for uh, taking a look at this video. Again, if you know someone in this geographical area that's looking for a scope, you might want to point them to this video. I will place an ad on Cloudy Nights, and I will probably also place an ad on Craigslist. And um, I had a lot of fun with it, captured a lot of great data. Uh, it's great for a smaller mount like my HEQ5 uh, Pro. Uh, I don't have the uh, actual weight, but you can get the uh, weight information on uh, William Optics uh, website. And again, how you fit it out with filter wheels and other things, what you hang on the back of it will all ultimately affect what the payload might be for the mount you want to use. Uh, so you'd want to do that investigation there. Okay. I think it's a great value at $699. Hopefully somebody out there thinks so as well. It's ready to move now uh, and uh, let me know. Other than that, clear skies.